Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Sarin Maitri, my educational mentor. Okay students, I hope you all are doing very good in this pandemic situations. So I am here to teach you continuously physics subject without losing any kind of uh, physics knowledge during this pandemic situation. So let us study about a topic called thermal expansion in this class. So today we are going to study about a thermal expansion. What is meant by thermal expansion? This thermal expansion happens in solid, liquid and gases. If we uh, take with, if we talk with respect to solid, this thermal expansion happens in terms of its length, in terms of its area and also in terms of its volume. But when we talk with respect to liquid and gases, the expansion happens only in terms of volume. So let us define what is meant by thermal expansion. The definition of thermal expansion is the increase in size, the increase in size of a substance due to increase in temperature. Whenever a substance expands or increases in size due to increase in temperature, we call it as a thermal expansion. So let us see the types of thermal expansions. There are basically three different types of thermal expansions. Thermal expansions. So first one is called as an linear expansion second one is called as an superficial expansion and third one is called as an cubical expansion cubical expansion so see you now Linear expansion means it is an expansion of a substance in terms of length whenever a substance has been heated. Then if we uh, talk about the second type, it is a superficial expansion. Superficial expansion means it is an expansion of a substance in terms of area whenever that particular substance has been subjected to temperature. Then the third one is called as a cubical expansion. Cubical expansion means it is an expansion of a substance in terms of volume whenever that substance is subjected to high temperature. So let us see now how uh, what are the differences between this uh, linear, superficial and cubical expansion. See you now. Since this linear expansion is happening only with respect to length, I can even call the linear expansion as a expansion in length is called as a one dimensional expansion and superficial expansion is happening in terms of its area. We can call it as an expansion in two dimensional and the third one is called as a cubical expansion. It is also called as a volume expansion. Since it is happening in, happening in three, the three different dimensions, we call it as a three-dimensional expansion. So let us see now uh, linear expansion. What is meant by linear expansion? We will try to derive the coefficient of linear expansion, also formula for the uh, 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 expansions or uh, some uh, data related to this linear expansion. linear expansion. As I already told you that linear expansion is an expansion of a substance in terms of length whenever that particular substance is heated or subjected to high temperature. It means that if I try to heat this particular substance, if the substance expands in terms of its length, I call that this, subst uh, this substance or the marker is being subjected to linear expansion. So now the definition of linear expansion is The increase in length 
of a substance due to increase in temperature whenever a temperature is increased with respect to the sub, uh, substance and then if that particular substance increases in length we call it as a linear expansion so now le let me consider one example here let me consider one metal rod metal rod which is of length which is of length l naught if the length of this metal rod is l naught initially at temperature t1 if the length of this metal rod is l naught at temperature t1 let me say that if the temperature of this metal rod is been increased if the temperature of this metal rod is increased then definitely what happens the length of this particular metal rod also increases let the increased length let the increased length of this metal rod let it be equal to lt lt whenever it is subjected to temperature called t2 then you can see that the difference in this lengths earlier the length of the substance was only up to here but later it has increased so this part this increased length we denote it by delta l we denote it by delta l so now if i write the equations for this one i can write it as delta l is nothing else but lt minus l not where l not is a increased length after increasing the temperature that is after heating and l not is a uh, in, uh, length of a substance before heating the particular substance so now we can write it as then the uh, formula for this one becomes as this lt is the increased length l not is the original length and delta l is the change in length so these are the particular factors which mainly affects the length of this particular uh, metal rod so now let us uh, discuss let us discuss what are the factors on which this linear expansion mainly depends upon the principal uh, principle of this one linear expansion can be the change in length of a substance depends on depends on basically three main factors the first one is the original length then second one is called as an Uh, change in temperature and third one is called as a nature of a substance nature of a substance so let me write this entire uh, definition of this one principle of the linear expansion mathematically if i write it mathematically the change in length the change in length is denoted by delta l it is directly proportional to original length that is equation number 1 then this change in length is also directly proportional to change in temperature that is delta t equation number 2 so from this equation 1 and 2 from equation 1 and 2 i can write it as delta l is directly proportional to l not delta t l not delta t let it be my equation number 3 if i this is a proportional design if i remove that proportional design then i'll be getting a proportionality constant delta l is equal to alpha l not delta t alpha l not delta t 
where alpha is nothing else but it's a proportionally constant and the name of the alpha is coefficient of linear expansion then alpha is equal to delta l by l naught delta t that is nothing else but delta l uh, we have written that delta l is equal to l t minus l naught by l naught delta t so this is a formula for alpha what is alpha alpha is a coefficient of coefficient of linear expansion alpha is a coefficient of linear expansion and the units of this alpha units of alpha is 1 by degree celsius or 1 over kelvin the units are 1 by degree celsius and 1 over kelvin so let me talk about delta t for delta t for change in temperature 1 degree celsius is always equal to 1 kelvin for change in temperature 1 degree celsius is always equal to 1 kelvin okay friends these are the uh, uh, mathematical uh, part of the linear expansion so we have seen that this linear expansion or the change in length delta l it depends upon original length which is denoted by l naught it denoted by l naught it depends upon change in temperature delta t and the third factor is the nature of the substance that is nothing else but alpha alpha is a change uh, nature of the substance from this particular uh, uh, principle only we have derived this mathematical expression and finally we have come up with a formula called alpha is equal to delta l by l naught delta t that is equal to delta l is a change in length that is nothing else but final length minus initial length over initial length times delta t and we have even seen the units and for, for this one particular condition for change in temperature always one degree celsius is equal to one kelvin so this is about linear expansion i hope students you have understood what is meant by linear expansion and how does uh, linear expansion takes place in uh, solids with respect to length so uh, thank you for everyone for listening to this class